Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I would like to start doing some sketchbook tours as I finish sketchbooks. And so I thought I would start off today by going through all my childhood art. I painstakingly went through all of my childhood stuff, toys, school work and everything, and I compiled every bit of art that I could find in all of my school notebooks and sketchbooks and things. And I put them into this binder. And so stay tuned to check out what's inside my childhood art. So here is the binder. Let's dig in. So this first bit is um, some strange pieces that don't fit properly. And there's a lot here, so I'm gonna go fairly fast. So there's a girl with a dog and a wagon. There's a, one of those classic baskets of fruit. Some nature. Got a bench. I think I was learning uh, shading at that point. Graphite shading. There's a tiger sleeping on a log. That's probably one of my only um, oil pastel pieces. This one was for a school project. Can't remember what the book was called. This is a, just a piece of This is a, a self-portrait, actually. That's a picture of me when I was a baby. And this is this one as well. A little boy and a dog. What do we got here? Oh, and here's the shape challenge um, from when I was in elementary school, so pretty young. This one was from high school. And this was also a project. It's meant to be Penelope Cruz. I don't know if you can tell. This is also a school project. This was meant to be a hockey team. Apparently this was my grade five notebook. I often liked to do these, um, I don't even know what you would call it, but like scenes where you have to follow the scene. I, I did quite a few of those. Playing with perspective, and again. Hockey teams. I think these were all meant to be uh, hockey teams that I made up. Oh, this one's really light. You might not be able to see it. This one's pretty light too. Looks like all of these portraits are quite light. Sharks. I've loved sharks since I was little, and that's proof. Oh, here's some cartoon attempts. They're not original characters. They are taken off of TV shows and books and possibly the internet. I don't think I would have had the internet yet, but... Oh, learning to draw a hand with an upside down heart. Interesting. Trying to learn the uh, proportions of a face. He looks like a mad scientist doctor person. Little princess lady. It's an angry penguin. Mermaids. 
I want to get uh, into drawing mermaids this May. Look at that little wolf. Aliens. Some star character guy. And then this was also from when I was a teenager. I uh, thought maybe I would um, design clothes someday. It was kind of a fun idea. Just drawing the front of dresses and maternity bathing suits. So. What that pocket has. All right. So, some precious moments. I don't know if you guys had precious moments when you were growing up. <laughs> this is uh, the cover of a story that I wrote um, that was focused around my sister's pooch. Oh, I see a bunch of these aren't... I will have to fix that. I don't even know if you guys can see these. Or we'll try that lighting. So some Disney. I liked my <laughs> spelling attempts. Oh, trolls. I loved trolls. I don't think I have any left from when I was a kid though. Some characters I often liked to give my characters names. This was a school project. Oh, do you guys know the show um, Recess? That was one of my favorites growing up and this is Spinelli. I was super proud of this because I did this on computer with a mouse. So I was really proud of how that turned out. Island of the Blue Dolphins. Apparently I didn't think very highly of the art. This is a tiger. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. I was very timid with um, graphite. I often did light and then I felt unsure of myself. So when I would go dark, then I felt like it wrecked because I didn't know shading. Ah, see, this is what I mean. Like I did a bunch of these where like you, you imagine like a person, they have to jump down here, they have to walk over this bridge with holes, and then there's deep water. Yeah, I did a bunch of those. I like obstacle. <laughs> there's another one. Always had to add water. This was a school project as well. I was really proud of how the my art of the car turned out. This is a invention. It was also a school project. I invented a outdoor kitty litter that cleaned itself. I don't know why you would need that. These are also not original characters. They are drawn from a catalog of products that, there, that we had lying around the house. And I thought they were cute, so I drew them. Jesus. I. W this would not have come from my head, so this was probably on a poster or something. I was really proud of the way this baby came out too. This was in 2009, so I'm already in my 20s, early 20s, and so I, I, my art career, I guess, my art journey has a lot of stop and go. Uh, I would pursue it for a while and then I wouldn't touch art for years and I'd come back to it. So the rate of growth isn't as, um, I don't know, I guess steady as I would have liked it to be, but I like that one. I remember I liked the way the shading and everything turned out. So these are still 
There's some little doodles. This is a shape challenge where you, you do a row of circles, a row of triangles, a row of squares, and a row of half circles. And then you create a picture out of each one. That's pretty fun. Practicing some cartoony style features. This was my first attempt at drawing a plant and this is also my first Copic art piece. And so this one, I think I've done a couple of art pieces um, using Copics, but not too many. I only have a couple. These are also not original characters. I think I got the references from Instagram. I do not, no, nope, Pinterest. But I don't know the artists. I should have written them down. Note to self, I'll write them down next time. I did a gorilla study. That was fun. Kind of learning the, the way gorillas are shaped. This one was a scribble challenge and people really liked it on my Instagram page. Uh, so you just scribble and then you find shapes within the scribble. So I got some fish, banana, ice cream, a ship, and a boot. So practicing a realistic eye and some face shapes and proportions and things. This is another Copic piece. You can't see, but I did put, um, what's it called? Jelly roll details on the dress to make it look like lace. So more Copic art, some more Copic art. And some more. This, shout out to Doodle Day, they are super inspiring. I have been watching them for a couple of years already. And this is Monty. If you guys watch Doodle Day, you know who Monty is. This is also inspired by, oh, I can't remember what her channel name is. I will put it on the uh, screen right here. Um, she did a drawing tutorial and this is what came out of that. And I was really happy with how that turned out. This, I decided to do a color challenge. Um, each page that you will see is all of my color-specific art supplies. So this one was green, and then I specifically wanted to draw green things. And then obviously you've got purple, brown, yellow, pink. I like the way that cotton candy turned out blue and red. And this is one of my Remembrance Day watercolor pieces. Oh, and there's just some watercolor doodles trying out with a, trying to do a silhouette of a wolf. Didn't really turn out that well. There's some birds that I used this book as reference. I think I have, oh, I've got a bunch of watercolor pieces here too that just kind of messing around, practicing a few things. Hey, SpongeBob, that was a really quick one. Here, I have a whole story on these and these are um, blob challenges. And these are the ones that I didn't mind how they turned out. So you just scribble a shape and then you draw a picture from that shape. So these are a couple of mine. They're also good for future reference. If you are bored or you are stuck with inspiration, you can take one of these and expand upon it, expand upon the idea. So this one I did back in 2004. This is just a whole bunch of um, fonts that I was practicing. So that's what those are. And then these are, these aren't art, these are stories that I've written through the years. So that is my childhood art collection up to basically present day. So from now on, I want to be able to do sketchbook tours. And I do have this sketchbook started. So you will get to see this when it's done. Thanks for watching. Bye.